Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. For today, we are going to be doing a demo on the new Dior Skin Corrector Concealer. All right, so right now we're in a concealer craze. Last year, it was all about the foundations. This year, I'm feeling like it is all about the concealer, so I have already tried out the Pat McGrath Beauty Blender. Now we're moving on to this one per a subby's request. So shout out to whoever requested that I try this out. So sorry, I can't remember your name, but thank you for leaving me your request. All right, so this is Dior's newest concealer. I picked up the shade 5N. Now, the shades for these were a little wonky. I felt like they did a great job with the undertone. Give you claps for that because y'all know I'm serious when it comes to undertones, but there were some holes in the gaps here. So this is in the shade 5N. I'll go ahead and show you what she looks like here on my wrist. As you can see, 5N is very, very close to my skin tone. So with this shade, the undertone's fine, it's a neutral shade. However, it won't really give me any kind of bright highlighted look up under the eyes. Now the next shade after this one, hang on, pull it up to make sure I have the correct okay so it goes starting from 5n which is what we have here and it says from medium skin with a neutral undertone then it jumps down to four warm olive which is medium skin to warm olive undertone i don't have medium skin which sometimes you know every brand their idea of medium and deep is different however we know i do not have warm olive undertones and in fact when i was looking at this in the store i didn't take a picture of the swatch because they didn't have one available to swatch just kind of took it out the box and looked at it really quick but um as you can see i'll pop a photo up here that would be way too light so i will go ahead and say as far as the shade range for the undertones it's just a weird they have a couple of gaps here um after five in then we get six in deep tan with the neutral undertones and it goes to seven neutral eight neutral and hey guys so this was filmed on march 17th i am editing it and getting it up today which is march 31st i just realized i'm sitting here looking at sephora that they do have a 4.5 neutral option so when things open back up again i will exchange it for the 4.5 and then i will touch base with you guys on it just wanted to let you know and nine neutral so for the most point everything seems to be neutral for the deep range which is fine i'd rather if a brand had to pick one i'd rather them go with neutral because i feel like more people can pull off a neutral than a warm or a cool so today I'm gonna do a demo using this concealer and give you my thoughts on it. We're not gonna do a full on wear test. I will show you guys what it looks like. I'll pop a couple of clips on, but so the claims for this concealer, full coverage, natural, liquid formula, and it's for normal, dry, and combination oily skin type. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on up under my eye. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. Let me zoom out in a little bit more. I was watching a Jackie Ina video the other day and she said something that really, really made me think a little bit harder just in regards to what is full coverage. Like this is a thought that I've always had, but it's very, very true because what's full to me might not be full to you and vice versa. Oh, we're not focused, hold on. There we go. Okay, so what's full to me might not be full to you. Like when you say full coverage, are you talking about, when you say full coverage, are you talking like a Kat Von D full coverage? Because I feel like that's on a whole nother level of coverage. For me, this concealer, it does not give me full coverage vibes whatsoever. I feel like when I put it on, I can still see some darkness up under my eyes also i just i don't know um when formulas are for all skin types it really makes me question because i feel like that is very vague it is a rare occasion that a product that works on dry skin will work on oily skin as well I can't think of a product that is marketed like that and I have seen it true across the board. So that is definitely something whenever I see it, I, I kind of side eye it at first. So as you can see, you guys, 
not quite as warm well not warm at all like the first um pat mcgrath concealer that i have but it's definitely a little it's a little bit a slightly a slight 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 bit deeper than what i like to have on my under eye area i'll go ahead and place some over here as well as far as blendability very easy to blend out it won't give you any problems to blend you can use a sponge a brush whatever your heart desires and there's no fragrance there's no crazy fragrance i feel like the um the dior backstage it does carry a little bit of a fragrance to it which most high-end products do and i wish they didn't do that okay so as you can see very very natural finish not overly dewy not overly drying either um as far as is it settling it is not it is laying down nicely it's not settling how the beauty blender concealer was on me but i just you know i feel like i could just go for some more coverage i've tried even building it up and it just i don't know i feel like they kind of missed the mark just in regards to saying that this is a full coverage concealer However, I do like the formula. We are on our way to warmer weather, so I don't think that this is a concealer that I would reach for once we crack 80 degree weather, just because I do have very, very oily skin. Um, I'm not someone that has super, super dry under eyes. So please keep that in mind when you are, you know, taking my opinion into consideration. I do feel like, however, this is probably better suited for someone that maybe has normal to dry or mature skin. I have worn this to work and you know, it, it did all right, but it wasn't anything exceptional. I feel like I have other concealers that work better. So this is the finish of it. And then while we're here, I will spot conceal as well. Ooh way too much and please ignore this i woke up with this this morning and i don't know why so annoying yeah so definitely could use this for spot concealing all right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and set up under my eyes with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shade Dark, and I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush, setting brush, excuse me. Okay, so this is what the under eye situation is looking like. Let me finish up the rest of my makeup, and then we will be right back. Alrighty, you guys, I am back and this is what my face is looking like. Let me zoom in to get a tighter look. So for foundation, I went in with the Makeup Forever. This is their Velvet Matte Powder Foundation in the shade Y505. For blush, I went in with the Sasha Cosmetics. This is in the shade Gold and yep, Golden Glow. Just a really, really pretty like a orangey burnt orange tone on the cheeks no bronzer today just rocking the blush and then for eyeshadow palettes the natasha denona safari palette i have really 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 been into this palette lately so this is what my face is looking like now oh get back in there sorry i lost the shadow okay so as you can see it doesn't look bad it's not bad i just feel like i look very flat now the reason why i did not go in with any bronzer was just simply because i have really no dimension going on on my face i feel like the under eye area is basically the same tone as the rest of my skin which there is nothing wrong with that this is just all for me and my preference everyone's difference but i would like to have just a little bit more lightness than i would have you know put a little bit more bronzer on to make me look more of that 3d effect now as as far as the concealer goes the concealer blends out like a dream i think it would be best suited for anyone that has maybe normal combination dry skin right now it's not blazing hot outside but like i said i've worn this in salon i, I know how she looks and how she plays out all right you guys it is currently 7 30. this concealer has been on since noon now and this is what we're looking like like I said, not a bad concealer. I just feel like they really missed the mark. 
with the undertones of the shades. Um, I feel like I need a shade just a little bit lighter than the one that I have, but here's how it wears. It doesn't wear bad. It doesn't have a crazy dry down time or creasing or anything like that. But like I said, because of the shade, it's just kind of like, eh. so yeah, just wanted to check in with you. My main con for this is I feel like they are missing a gap when it comes to the shade undertones and the fact that, I mean, I don't really consider this like a full, full on coverage concealer, especially when you have concealers like Urban Decay, Stay Naked, even the L'Oreal Invaluable. I mean, there are just so many good concealers that are full coverage. And for this one, I feel like for 30, how much was it? $32, the claims better be on point. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys. So that is my two cents on the Dior Forever Skin Concealer. Down below, I wanna hear your thoughts. Had you tried it? Are you gonna try it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? How did it work for you? What are your thoughts on things that are marketed as full coverage or better yet, scratch that question. What is full coverage to you? Because again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's all subjective. It's just going to vary depending on each person. All right. So you guys know the deal. Please stay safe out there. I know there's a lot going on. Stay safe. Keep it simple. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.